Diabetes is an enormous problem globally and in the United States. 420 million people in the world have diabetes. Approximately a third of the U.S. population has or is at risk for developing diabetes. The chronic complications involve almost every organ. It's the leading cause of blindness in the United States. It's the leading cause of kidney failure. It's the major contributor to heart disease. And if you add all of these things together, diabetes either directly or indirectly is probably the second or third most important cause of death in the United States. We need to make uh, advances in the treatment of diabetes. This one and yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Insulin is the product of normal beta cells. If you had normal beta cells, you'd never need to take insulin or drugs that made you secrete more insulin. So we're trying to simply regrow beta cells in people who have type 1 or type 2 diabetes. Two or three years ago, we identified harmine as a new class of drugs that could make beta cells regenerate at low levels. In this study, we identified a second class of drugs called TGF-beta superfamily inhibitors that's able to induce human beta cells to replicate at rapid rates when given in combination with harmine. And in terms of the actual rates of replication, Adult human beta cells replicate at a rate of about 0.2% per day. That's pretty much the same as nothing. With harmine, we were able to get that up to about 2% per day. And now with a combination of harmine plus TGF-beta superfamily inhibitors, we can get that rate up to around 5 to 8% per day. And in some of the pancreatic beta cell preparations we got, it was as high as 15 or 18%. The importance of the study is that it applies to everybody with diabetes. All 30 million people in the United States whether it's type 1 or type 2, and all 420 million people in the world. Two and a half years ago, we had this many drugs that could make human beta cells regenerate. Now, we have actually about five or six different combinations of drugs that can make human beta cells regenerate at rapid rates. So just in three years, we've gone from zero to five to eight percent. I would say that over the next few years, uh, w this will be translatable to human beings.